it's summertime and with the temperatures reaching record highs what better way to escape the heat than visiting the beaches at the jersey shore hi i'm jose traveling across the new jersey coastline to visit some of its most popular destinations join me as we take a tour of the jersey shore to experience the birthplace of the boardwalk the famed atlantic city the timeless architecture of asbury park the colorful retro look of the wild woods and the southernmost point in the garden state Cape May, which contains the remains of a bunker right on its sandy beaches. So let's go on tour to the beaches of the New Jersey Shore. Welcome to the famous New Jersey Shore, the coast that faces the Atlantic Ocean. The Jersey Shore is more than 130 miles of coastline from Perth Amboy in northern New Jersey to the southern point of Cape May. Over 40 beach towns filled with their own distinctive personalities and a popular getaway for summer vacationers. So let's hit the road to experience the summer wonderland. Our journey into the New Jersey beaches starts in Asbury Park. In the early 1900s, Asbury Park competed with Atlantic City to become the premier resort town in New Jersey. And along the beachfront are reimagined architecture of the town's glory days. From casinos, old theaters, and carousels, Asbury Park was a top beach destination designed by the minds behind Grand Central Station. And that's why its architecture looks so familiar. We begin our journey in northern New Jersey at the streets of Asbury Park, a beach town founded by a developer from New York City. James Bradley had a dream of creating a thriving residential resort town. And here we stand at the remains of Bradley's vision. This day brings 91 degree weather and massive crowds of beachgoers filling up the Jersey sands, with this beach having the most dense crowd throughout our trip. In its early days, Asbury Park was a popular destination for New York City, northern New Jersey, and Philadelphia residents. And this fence landmark was the Asbury Steam Plant, a revolutionary design to heat up the boardwalk for winter travelers. And I love walking on the perfectly maintained boardwalk, seeing everyone enjoy the best of summer. From the boardwalk, you can see the blue water of the Atlantic Ocean as the waves crash onto the beach. At the turn of the 20th century, Asbury Park's popularity began to fade. Going from the default Jersey resort town to competing with new beaches in the shore. But with the busyness of summer, it doesn't feel like it's any less popular. So I take this long stroll across the boardwalk to marvel at the architecture of Asbury Park and the famed Paramount Theater. Once the crown jewel and top attraction of the beach town, it has been converted into a venue filled with a variety of shops. It helps beat the heat and calm my curiosity, a curiosity of what the theater has to offer. And once we step inside, we see restaurants. We see shops filled with Asbury Park memorabilia and of course the convention hall. This is the reimagined Paramount Theater, one of the oldest landmarks in Asbury Park and a staple to the beach town. 
In the early 1900s, New York City and Atlantic City created convention centers like Madison Square Garden. In order for Asbury Park to remain a competitive resort destination, it had to build a similar venue for the town. It would eventually become the Paramount Theater, bringing new businesses and life to Asbury Park. This colorful area are the Wildwoods, New Jersey, and with this giant sign, you can't miss it. The Wildwoods adopted a unique style for their architecture, doo-wop, doo-wop music, the popular rhythm and blues from the 1940s. Wildwoods, New Jersey, the number one family resort town in the Garden State. The Wildwoods attract over 9 million visitors a year, and you can say it's one of the most beautiful beaches in the state. It's become one of my go-to beaches for the past couple of years, and with good reason. I love the vibrancy of this beach town. The beaches at the Wildwoods are some of America's most unique beaches. It has areas throughout the beach that grow in size each year, making it the largest beach on the East Coast. Walking to the beach from the boardwalk is quite a stretch, but you'll see a less crowded resort than Asbury Park. And everyone is simply having a blast at the Jersey Shore. The Wildwoods got their name because of its geography. When this was selected to become a resort town, the island was more wild forest than actual beach. It was remodeled into the destination we see today. And since then, it's boomed with tourism for families, bringing tourists from all over the Mid-Atlantic and even as far as Canada. The two and a half mile boardwalk leads me to the pier to take in some of the fantastic scenery and find the perfect location to get some social media photos. But as the temperature rises to a scorching 95 degrees Fahrenheit, I can't help but feel the sweat. So I look for a quick treat, something that goes great in summer. The doo-wop style, you'll see it across a lot of Wildwoods businesses, feeling like you're right in the pages of a 1940s or 50s magazine. After all, Wildwood might be the birthplace of rock and roll. It was at Wildwood where Bill Haley in the comments debuted one of the early mega hits of rock and roll, Rockin' Around the Clock. You know, one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock rock. Let's walk the streets of Wildwood and step into a time machine of colorful architecture from yesteryear. The doo-wop look is something that makes Wildwood, New Jersey stand out amongst the 44 beach towns. This style of design was most famous in the 1950s as the American way of life began to have a cultural shift. The style is celebrated in the beach towns as an homage to the classic American beach towns. You can visit diners, hotels, and resorts that all have that neon look and music playing in the background to transport you to another era. But we can't visit the Wildwoods without stopping at Maurice Pier, one of the top amusement parks in New Jersey. Maurice Pier is a family owned staple of Wildwoods and only complements the already vibrant area. This is the southernmost point in the state of New Jersey, the beach at Cape May. Cape May is America's oldest seaside resort town and a popular destination for tourists. Cape May also has one of the country's largest communities of Victorian houses, second only to San Francisco. In the beautiful and calm southern point of New Jersey is Cape May, 
America's oldest seaside resort town, containing over 600 preserved Victorian buildings. Here is a beach distinctively different than its closest neighbor, Wildwoods. This town is called New Jersey's best kept secret and constantly ranks as one of the top beach destinations in the country. The history of Cape May's popularity began with residents from Philadelphia flocking to the area in their horse and carriage. Soon after, word spread out to New York, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C. about New Jersey's hidden treasure. But as the beach town began to grow, it suffered a devastating fire in 1878. The fire destroyed over 30 acres of the city. Cape May went on to rebuild itself into a smaller town and in turn, it reduced competing with the many beach resorts that were dominating the Jersey shores. It preserved its architecture, which gave it that edge of uniqueness against many other locations. And hey, since we're walking around, let's enjoy some of the beach town. The Victorian style homes are spread all throughout Cape May as a result that came from the fire. In order to speed up rebuilding the town, the locals went with the most popular styling of its time and slowly it transformed into the postcard look of the beach town. The town known as the Jersey Cape draws visitors from all over the world to experience its beautiful architecture and one-of-a-kind views at its beaches. At the Cape May Point, is a grand lighthouse standing at 157 feet tall. The lighthouse is open to the public and it's a lengthy walk up its steps. It contains 199 steps to reach the top. But once you reach that point, your view is endless as you're able to see across Cape May and Wildwood, New Jersey. As the temperatures cool down and the winds pick up, we reach the southernmost point in the state, the Cape May Point. Visitors calmly look out into the ocean for whales and dolphins. Something the locals mention occurs during Cape May spring and summer. The area is separated from the boardwalk as the waters at Cape May Point hide the remains of railroads and pieces from a World War II battery. But the most famous remains surrounding this area are that of the SS Atlantis, originally used to transport troops back from World War I. It was envisioned to become a ferry between Cape May and Delaware. But in 1926, a storm broke the ship from its moors and it sunk 150 feet off the coast, making it almost impossible to tow back to its dock. There's one more surprising remain at this beach, and that's the war battery. A memorabilia of World War II, Battery 223. This is a harbor defense system built before America joined the Allies in World War II. It was built just in case the war set foot on our doors. The New Jersey shores are truly a stunning adventure, and even out here in the middle of nowhere, we're reminded of the many battles America has faced and the remnants of war that are scattered across many cities and towns. This battery was built to withstand direct hits from battleships and aircrafts with 16-inch guns that had a range of 26 miles. A curiosity for most beachgoers, 
that only adds to the allure of the Jersey Shore. But as the high tides settle in, we near the shorelines to get a closer look at our neighbors from the Atlantic. Welcome to Atlantic City, New Jersey's answer to Nevada's Las Vegas. Atlantic City, the famous New Jersey beach town called America's Playground. No Jersey road trip is complete without stopping in the gambling capital of the East Coast. To brush up on history, the city has a beautiful and endless boardwalk. It was the world's very first boardwalk built back in the 1870s, an answer to the beach visitors who would drag along sand back to their hotel rooms and train cars. Not only was Atlantic City's boardwalk the first, it's also the largest in the world at a staggering five and a half miles long. And this beach is heavily populated with visitors from all over the world as the casinos draw in crowds for day and nighttime activities. Atlantic City invented the postcard and the environment feels just like the pictures. As I take the last walk across the beach, I soak in this massive trip we've embarked on and the variety across the Jersey Shore with so many beaches having their own identity. The New Jersey Shore really has something for everyone. And the tipping point of all those beaches is Atlantic City, a city that inspired the game of Monopoly. Atlantic City hosts over 27 million visitors a year. So if you want to visit a busy town, this is definitely the one. The sun is beginning to set and life on the boardwalk is only getting started. Atlantic City has a curfew for minors where the sirens ring at 10 p.m. as they call out to families. Back on the boardwalk, we see the rolling chairs transporting visitors, and I couldn't help but capture the action up close. The boardwalk is filled with Atlantic City staples and attractions that will keep you entertained no matter the age, like Ripley's Museum of Oddities, believe it or not, a building that's definitely seen better days. Walking into this arcade reminds me of my childhood, where arcades became our weekend escape and the food on the boardwalk was some of the best you've ever had. So let's see what nighttime brings to Monopoly City. Atlantic City at night completely changes the experience. Let's enter the Steel Pier, one of the most famous and recognizable amusement parks in America. At its peak, it held the title of the showplace for the nation. This is the best way to cap off this riveting trip. Crowds are up and down the boardwalk, entering and exiting casinos, coming in and out of restaurants, and meeting friends at dance clubs. The beach town has it all, and a lively atmosphere for those young at heart, helping claim its crown as America's playground. The lights can be seen from miles away, and voices echoing the fun of summer can be heard all throughout New Jersey. And just like this ride 
launches you into the air, that's exactly the feeling of being in Atlantic City. An adventure with a humble start, adrenaline-fueled launch, and a steady descent back into normal life. The New Jersey shores and beach towns are a fascinating section of the Garden State's biography. 44 beaches that offer a plethora of story behind them. From history to architectural marvels and simply fun ways to escape the summer heat. The New Jersey shore has a home for all types of vacationers and it's been a blast going through this adventure and experiencing so many icons to fill the great American postcard. I'm Jose and if you've enjoyed this adventure, please give it a like and share. If you'd like to know more about the places I've been to, please see the links below. Until next time.